The scout team is the street crime arrest team. We are multi-purpose. We go do a lot of self-initiated stuff. Try to be visible in the community. District 1 scat guys, can you jump into that? They're basically a nuisance for these neighborhoods. You got any other weapons on you? Using and selling. Nobody wants that happening in their neighborhood. All right, we're good. <laughs> they were literally living in the highway. I've seen a lot of people under the bridge, but not in the bridge. Protecting people, we're willing to do whatever it is, even sacrifice ourselves to protect them. Down in the south end of District 1, we've got some guys out doing surveillance on some potential drug dealers. 181 David, I'm coming. Some people think that drugs are a victimless crime, but a lot of times people come down to use drugs or breaking into cars and committing other crimes to get their money for drugs. A white male, dark blue jeans, a black hoodie, they are walking into the Starbucks. We've got a potential guy going to make a deal behind the Starbucks. Yeah, I think they just did the deal right in front of me by the dumpster. Should be in front of Starbucks here in a second. Ow. What did I do? Detectives watched this guy do a drug deal. They went to go contact him. He had some drugs on him. You got any other weapons on you? No, that's good, man. He had a real big knife on him. What did I do? Roll over. They arrested him. Wanted to get out of the get out of the area so we don't scare the, the rest off and we have a chance to get another one. Right. Basically following up on complaints, we hear from a lot of citizens in this area, a lot of uh, people that come into town to work, they get approached by people selling heroin. Makes their life miserable to have to, to deal with these, so this is one of the quality of life issues that we address. And the white t-shirt went back down. We've got a potential deal. These deals are mobile, people are walking around and selling, so it's hard for us to keep track of them. We can't go in too soon, we gotta wait till they actually sell the drugs so we know they have them. So now it's just a waiting game. Sometimes it takes a really long time, because they won't rush it. So they're still walking westbound, they're north of the light rail. They just jumped the fence from the west side of the light rail. So we need to get on the other side of this light rail, guys. We don't know for sure that we have a deal. We gotta wait for confirmation that we know somebody sold some before we can go talk to them, go get them. All right, it's a good deal. Sounds like we have a deal, but we're waiting for a description of the suspect. Small, white male, blonde hair, like a crew cut, wearing a green shirt. It's gonna be the guy tucked under the bridge with all the heroin. I got him. All right, we're moving. This will be interesting. Four people secreted themselves inside the uh, overpass literally living in the highway. There's a lot of evidence up here that we're probably gonna want. Yeah, come here, Sergeant. It's ready to go. Several of the parties had warrants. One guy was wanted for auto theft. A lot of these small dealers getting arrested lead to, to bigger arrest. 